You dribble up to the hoop. You shoot. You miss. There are times when you just don't win. That doesn't mean you're an abject failure. It just means you didn't succeed this time. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Yesterday was full of success and failure for me. If you've been following me on social media, you know I've been working on replacing the radiator in my Jeep. And it's been one thing after another keeping me from getting the job done. Yesterday morning, I was down to one hose, one hose clamp, and one bolt from being done. I was optimistic I'd be done by lunch. <laughs> Later that evening... I was still one hose clamp and one bolt from being done. It took me half the day to get the bottom radiator hose into place, and I spent the other half trying to get the hose clamp into position. I spent almost an entire day cursing the manufacturers of my Jeep for their poor placement of their hoses, clamps, and bolts. I was of the mind Jeep purposefully designed this engine so I specifically couldn't work on it. There were spaces too small for my big hands and not enough room to put any normal size tools. In fact, I had to go buy about $75 worth of new tools just for this task. And I'm still not done. The more I worked on that hose clamp, the angrier I got. I soon realized I was about to blow a fuse. So I stopped. I cleaned up my work area put my tools up, and walked away. One stupid hose clamp is not worth my blood pressure or my sanity. I spent the rest of the day sitting on the couch, watching TV, mindlessly emptying a bag of pork rinds, and feeling like an absolute failure. I was reminded late last night of the old saying, don't sweat the small stuff. And you know what? That stupid hose clamp is small stuff. It doesn't change the big picture of my life at all. I just can't let a little things like this very, very minor setback define my day. Sure, I'm disappointed I didn't get the job finished yesterday, but it just means it'll be a few more days before I can drive the Jeep again. No big deal. Hey, I did manage to get a very difficult hose to place. That's half the job I was set out to do yesterday, so that's one less thing I have to do. So, I'm not a failure. I just didn't succeed this time. And you know, it's all on how you look at things. I hope your week is going well. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm halfway through my Instagram blog month challenge, and it's actually been fun so far. If you're not familiar with the blog month challenge, it's actually quite simple. You write and blog something new every day for an entire month. This time I've added a twist to it. I'm doing all my posting on Blog Oklahoma's Instagram account. So please feel free to follow me on Instagram at Blog Oklahoma, B-L-O-G-O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. -O -O and why not take on the Blog Month Challenge yourself? You can find more details about it at blogoklahoma.com slash blogmonth. If you were following me on Snapchat, you would have seen my meltdown yesterday as I was working on that Jeep. So if you'd like to know what's going on with me from day to day, please feel free to follow me on Snapchat at ProgramWitch. That's P-R-O-G-R-A-M-W-I-T-C-H. And I post a new story just about every day. Just a reminder, I'm going to be off for the next couple of weeks, so the next new episode won't be until the first week of December. So from Donna, myself, and the rest of the Blog Oklahoma family, we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. I'm 
happy to announce, as of November 15th, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 889 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get a hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.